Lee, it's a fantastic machine. This is a really great place to see engineering and manufacturing at its best. Now I am sitting on a huge machine here in Bielefeld at the Starag Group. Um, Lee, we've done quite a few movies here in the last couple of days. Um, one of the things we haven't really gone into great detail about is actually the size of this machine that we've got here. And not just the size of this machine, but the extent of the range and how big these machines go and how capable they are. So let's start with what we're sitting on. How big is it? Well, in terms of component size, you could put a component on this machine that's 13 metres diameter and 8 metres high. And do they, you know, do they go bigger than this? Can they have smaller than this? Do, do people need to think that actually there is options other than what we're sitting on? Well, within the group, we could uh, engrave the head of a needle up to components this size. If somebody wants to go bigger, of course we can go bigger. And this machine itself here then, what is it? We have explained it in, in previous videos, but what is it capable of? Well, this is part of our large parts machining system range. So this machine capability embraces milling, turning, and could embrace grinding. And that's one of the things that your colleagues have mentioned to me over the last couple of days, the fact that actually there isn't really these days a milling machine and there isn't no. really a turning machine. They're all a machine that can do all of it. And that's what you offer. They are, and our objective is to reduce the manufacturing costs of any component of any size. So if we can mill, turn and grind in a single setup, then that's what we do. Okay, now this table we're sitting on here, what, what weight can it take? How fast can it move? And let's give the audience some, some you know, real ways of identifying in their own mind what, what could be on here. Okay, well let's start with the fact it's 11 metres diameter and the table itself, just the table top, weighs 125 tonnes. So in terms of capacity, the, the, the table will rotate at uh, up to 20 revs and it will take 300 tonnes. Now when you talk about 20 revs, that doesn't sound awfully fast, but I suppose if you've got a, a very large component on here, that is th there's still a lot of metal going to be removed. Well, in terms of some statistics, I spoke to somebody earlier, and they said if we were to wrap a piece of string around the table, rotate it at three quarters of its speed, so 15 revs for an hour, and we unravel that piece of string, how long do you think that would be? Well, we're going to ask the audience to guess. Now I can tell you that it's actually over 30 kilometres and it's unfair yeah. of Lee to ask me the answer because we've rehearsed this already and I know it. Um, but put your guesses wherever you're watching this. Yeah, so what would that length actually be? Um, Lee, it's a fantastic machine. This is a really great place to see engineering and manufacturing at its best. Finally, what is the most important aspects of building a machine like this and a potential purchaser? Why do they trust in, in the guys here to do it? What really sets them aside? Well, we, we, we don't deliver machines. It's a bit of a cliche. We deliver a solution. So it doesn't matter what size the part. Our customers come to us with a challenge. They'll give us a component model and they'll say, go away and come back with the best way to make that part. And as a result, that's what this machine is. What's it going to be doing? Where's it going? This is going into the, uh, the energy sector. So for, for very large wind turbine component manufacturers, so gearbox parts, bearings, that, that type of component. 